You ever go searching for some great sounding jazz piano chords, only to get a bunch of numbers and symbols thrown at you? B flat, sus 13, sharp 11, flat 9. There's a triangle in there for some reason. Maybe you found some easy chords, but they don't sound very good. Look out. Well, today we've got you covered. Today we're working on five easy jazz piano chords that sound great. Here's how we're gonna do it today. I'm gonna teach you each one of these chords that I'm playing here in this chord progression. Show you how to build them. We're gonna play along with Caleb here in this groove. It's a simple Charleston rhythm. Now, none of this matters if you can't remember what we're doing. So stick around to the very end where I'm gonna show you how to practice these chords so that they stick. This is the way that all of your favorite musicians practice music. Let's check out our first chord here, the D minor chord, check it out. We're gonna start with the left hand with a D. We're gonna add an F with our right hand. Skip a note, add an A with the right hand. Skip another note, add a C. Skip another note, add an E. That's a D minor nine chord. But you don't need to do any of that. You just gotta know it sounds good. Now let's take our left hand, let's drop it an octave, shall we? Let's try it. Sounds really good. Play with us here, groove out. Again, our simple Charleston rhythm. Now, the second chord of our progression is a G7 chord, and we're gonna get there from a very similar place here. We're just gonna move the top, second to top note in our right hand, our C, down a key to B. That's it. We're gonna move our root D up four keys to G. That's our G7 chord. Now, technically, this is a G7 with a 13 and a 9, but again, no need to know any of that. Just it's our G7. Go between the two, ready? D minor, G7. D minor, G7. D minor, G7. Feels great. Two more times. Easy peasy. Now the third chord of our progression is our tonic. It's our C major chord. And we're gonna build it the same way that we built the D minor chord. We start with C in our left hand. Then our right hand, we're gonna skip a note, play E. That major third above. Skip another note, add G. C major triad. Skip another note, add that seventh B. It's our B major seven. Skip another note, add the D. It's a C major nine. It's beautiful, it's major, it's bright, it's airy. Just like with our D minor, let's drop that lowest note, the root, down an octave in our left hand. Let's try it. Three. It's infectious. See if you can really lock into the pocket here, too. Find this Charleston rhythm. Lock in with me and Caleb. For our next chord, our F major chord, we're gonna get there the same way we got from D minor to G7. Start with our right hand, we're gonna take the second note from the top, our B, and move it down a key to A. That's the only change in the right hand. Just like our D to our G, we're gonna go from C up four keys, F. Here's our F major chord. And again, it's an F with a 9 and a 13. It's just our big F major sound. Go between those two chords, C and F.
Now here's our last chord. Our last chord is a crunchy chord. It's an A dominant seventh chord. It's got a flat nine and a flat 13, all those symbols again, right? We don't need to know any of that. We just need to know that it sounds super tense. You're thinking, Adam, why would we want to play a super tense chord? Well, because it's going somewhere important, which I'll get to in a minute. Before we get there, let's talk about what this is. We start with our right hand, we start on G. We add a B flat above that. Go a minor third up from that, a C sharp. And a major third up from that, an F. With our left hand, we hit an A. It's an A dominant seventh with a flat nine and a flat 13. It's big and crunchy. It's unstable. It doesn't want to stay here. It's probably tensing up right now as I'm playing this. But what it does do is go somewhere. Where does it want to go? Back to our first chord. How great is that? D minor to G again. our C, our F, back to our C. Now here's that big A chord. Let's do that again, back to the D minor. To the tonic. Here's our A chord. Check out the hit. Huh. Two more times here. Put some flair on it. Hits. Back to our D minor. Play with us here. C major, F major, C major, here's our hits on the A, on the one. Now the cool thing about this is if we want to lock it in, we just have to do one thing. It's what I was talking about in the beginning of this video. This is the technique that all the professional musicians you know use to help lock things in. We're going to transpose this right away. We're not going to think too hard about it either. We're just going to try to hear this. So we're going to take it up a perfect fourth to the key of F, which means that we need to start on a G minor chord. So we're going to build it just how we built our D minor, but just in the key of F. Two, three. So we start with our G, left hand, add a B flat. Add a D, add an F, add an A, drop the left hand an octave, move the second from the top note down one, and move the root up a fourth, right? Here's our F major, E flat major, our D7. That's really all you have to do. Get these chords in a couple of keys, it will lock in. Promise. You. Play with us here. See if you can lock into the pocket Charleston rhythm. If you want to go on a deeper dive, we have a PDF of the five easy jazz chords etude in all 12 keys. Go to fiveeasychords.com to learn more.